In the story of medical illustration, which I look at, um, the 18th century is critical. In that century, surgeons invented ways of devising and also drawing their invasive procedures. And I will take one example for that, the, the operation for the stone or the cutting for the calculus um, in, in the bladder. At the time, it was a very painful disease which affected quite a lot of um, people from an early age to, um, uh, to old age. One of the first representation at the beginning of the 18th century is Tolle. And you can see on that scene how in the absence of anesthesia, the patient is tied up to uh, the operating chair and um, they had also very little sight of what was going on in the operation. So you can see on this image that um, the actual knife is hardly to be seen in the midst of all the, the hands of the assistants and the surgeons. That, that was the only sight they could get of an actual operation. Surgeons later on um, tried to uh, overcome that problem. Charles Hilden in 1724 used a corpse to um, show different layers of the body that he had to cut into. The second image showing uh, in particular the, the protruding of the bladder that was full of water into which the surgeon had to cut. Those prints were heavily uh, copied. Uh, one example of that is, for instance, James Dictionary, where you can see the mirror figure of the Chesildon print. But um, they were also translated into different languages um, and and then adapted as well. Foubert, in the Mémoire de l'Académie Royale de Chirurgie in 1743, um, used different prints to show the sequence of even first the um, use of a probe into the bladder and then the cutting of the knife following the cannula of the probe into the bladder on the second image. This very same image were used by the Encyclopédie of Diderot et d'Alembert, but then they also added some information on that image by using dotted lines to show a second position of the knife, which was then extracted from the bladder. By the end of the 18th century, there is quite a lot of sophistication in those surgical image. And Charles Bell's illustration of the great operation of surgery in 1820 is really um, a sort of achievement of that long series of uh, uh, inventions. You can see on one image how he uses the different me mechanical drawings, um, cross-sections, dotted lines, the way of representing um, instruments and also using um, shadowing to, to present how uh, the hand of the surgeon's, his finger rather, was uh, used to, to enter the bladder and then extract the stone. If one compares the very early 18th century images to this one, you can see how in one century surgeons invented way of depicting invasive procedures. Mm -hmm.